by overseas student um, government. Um, I truly had fell in love with doing service learning and that commitment to the community and going out and helping others and maybe that came from my cancer diagnosis. I always tell them, eat dessert first, life's short. <laughs> but I think, you know, eat dessert first. Dessert's the best part of a meal. It's the sweet spot. Why wait till the end? Take it now, eat it first. I had been having some abdominal issues, a lot of fullness, feeling like I was full, always full. I had um, pain in my lower back and numbness and tingling in my hip area. And I'd gone to see my primary care and he sent me for an ultrasound, which in turn showed that I had a, what they called at the time, a small spot on my kidney. So I went to see a urologist the next day and he said, I don't have a small mass, it's a 17 centimeter mass. And I believe you have what's called retroperitoneal sarcoma. It's cancer. And you know, when anybody in this day and age hears the word cancer, you ultimately think, how long do I have? And it's not a tumor that just developed overnight. There's the, the thought is that, you know, Dr. Hoosier thought that I had this tumor probably for about 10 years. The local urologist had a friend who was worked in urology at Hopkins. He, and he had said that they would see me and he would put a team together because Hopkins had a sarcoma team. And not every hospital has a sarcoma team. So Hopkins was one and it's in our backyard. Dr. Hoosier scheduled surgery, which was a 16 hour procedure. So it was 21 centimeters at the time of surgery. So they ruined my right kidney, gallbladder, appendix, portions of two ribs, and abdominal muscle structure. Uh, life is different. I no longer get to go to the grocery store by myself. Um, I cannot allow really to lift anything above a gallon of milk. Um, I have trouble walking my dogs because they all weigh more than seven pounds. Can't carry a laundry basket. The laundry basket weighs more than that. Um, so, you know, I, I, have, I depend on people to help me. I mean, my husband, his life has changed, it's not just mine. So we created through our community foundation here in Carroll County a, a nonprofit called Finish Sarcoma. The nonprofit, it's, it's kind of serves two roles. One in the fact that it does raise money and increase awareness, but it also provides a support network for other sarcoma patients. We take a portion of our proceeds and we donate back to Hopkins to the sarcoma program. In addition, we also, are part of the funds go back into patient care. I have just turned 50 years old. I didn't think I'd ever see 50. And you know, I feel healthy now. Then most days I don't feel great. It's hard getting out of bed every day. But I get up out of bed because I, the alternative is not to get out of bed and to be six feet under. And so each day is a gift.